Where do we go? Tell me what I got to do. Carlos is on the job. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. September 29th, 4.43 a.m. Star's office. Oh! Am I back to Jill? Alright. Well, that was fun. I ain't gonna lie. That was, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Like Jill always says. I'm the only one who made it. No. No. Got a job to do. She's the only one who can do it. Spray that UPCS new weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weapons weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass pack in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D. They will light your fires even hotter than the lever you left back home. Damn, they're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them into anything else. Fire them at the walls or the ground, they'll stay right where they where you put them. A sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies detonate when they get within range. But basically, just toss them in an enemy's path, you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on these giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Welcome back, Dimkara. We haven't missed much. Just some of my, as Cannibal Queen puts it, my my cute Spanish, and the first and the last appearance of Antonio Banderas <laughs> of Twitch, <laughs> unless I go back to being Carlos, then perhaps, then perhaps you might come back. But I can't promise. I got Budweiser, Jim Bean, nice. Oh, I really hope I get those first aid sprays. I have like two first aid sprays and a red and green herb on Carlos. I really want those back. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Budweiser. But it was her made in Jim Bean Barrels. Interesting. Did not know that. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'll trade that for a green herb. Feeling, I'm feeling lucky. Let's do it. Who's next? Okay. I just rolled out of nowhere. Oh, they really did just roll out of nowhere. Oh, 
6.2%. Alright, there goes most of my ammo. Are not dead? Yeah, yeah. I can knife you. <laughs> Poor lady. Got up. Just go back down. And you. Like you. Zombies don't learn. You never pass out with your ass up. Alright. Better be dead. And then I'm wondering, why are there so many bubblehead? Why are there so many bunk beds here? Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. Line up the shot. Seems like overkill. I didn't bring a grenade. Not stacked, are they? Alright. Get you two. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then I'll let him burn. Oh, man. There should still be one more. I already miss Carlos. Oh, nice. Oh man, you missed it. Damn care. Carlos, he can literally stun the zombies on the ground and I could just knife them indefinitely. That was so easy. Me too. <laughs> I miss daddy. <laughs> yep. Can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> As his can do attitude. <clears throat> His, uh, his luscious locks. Mm. There's a lot you can miss about that man. Walker's still alive. I can't stay here. Oh, hell no. Oh, there's the clock tower. Alright. We may just beat this game tonight, maybe. It's Clock Tower Park. Yeah, Clock Tower Park, Underground, the giant worm thing, uh, the hospital, and then the helipad thing. And then we out. Two different facilities. Uh, actually, we, uh, not what I'm thinking about. We might get very close to the end tonight. We'll find out what happens. It was a it was a good change of pace for Carlos to go to the RPD. Has Joe been infected? Uh, no. If they didn't change it from how it was in the original, then it's gonna happen right over there in the clock tower. Unless they change it, but to my knowledge, clock tower brochure, Saint Michael's clock tower. Saint Michael's clock tower is is a. 
Baroque style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It's become a beloved icon and the residents considered to be emblem emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected its tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city. The first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification of yeah, electrification over the course of the early 20th cent excuse me, century. And the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. <clears throat> nope, okay then. You can definitely finish tonight. I'm trying to get drunk so I can pass out. <clears throat> Alright, I see. <laughs> Counteract the caffeine. Uh, quick water break. All right. <clears throat> well, we'll see how far we get. Anything's possible. Again, when you, I think when I come back into a master class, we can definitely speed run this game and get it done in an, in a single stream for sure. But we gotta practice. All right. If I didn't know any better, this seems like a fight's gonna break out. Looking for things. Like that crate. That bubblehead. I like his little mustache. I'm gonna call him Senor Gomez. <laughs> oh. The Resident Evil gods have been very kind to me. Too kind. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely not as kind as an RE6. I don't think they I don't think they were ever meant to be that kind. <laughs> What happened to Nari 6 will never happen again. <laughs> oh. Into the water. Oh. Bitch can't swim. <laughs> Bitch can't swim. <laughs> Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail. Everybody. Oh, shit. oh no, he can swim. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? The beach can swim. The beach can it's swim. Oh, he's evolved. Jill, Jill, what happened? Jill, come in. Run, girl, run. You don't fight that. You run. <laughs> Goes us. Here's where I get infected. Damn. Uh, I should have brought way more, <laughs> way more stuff. Oh well. Green herb, I'll take it. Ah! Ouch. Okay, what did I pick up? Explosive rounds, I better use those. Okay. 
Thank God the reload saved me. Let's go, Nemesis. Change my mind. Can you not jump through that? Whoa, he's fast. Not faster. God, the slow motion feels good in this game. When I pull it off. <laughs> right in the face! Now I can look at chat. <laughs> Why for you missed it? James was playing the Leon campaign. They gave him like 40 fa first aids. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Emma isn't. He is. I don't think there's any. The, I think the only rounds I remember reading we can make are mine, um, e explosive, and incinerary. But in the original one, he's he's weak to the ice. Mm -mm. And yeah, Cannibal Coin, like, legit. <laughs> like, 40 first aid sprays. It was ridiculous. We was living in first aid sprays. If, like, if you needed a first aid spray and you were playing with me in RE6, I was like, I got you. Take, take 10. Take 10 more. <laughs> I was living large. Mm -mm. And then I was the first and only time it'll ever happen. <laughs> Alright, back to what I was doing. Switch to the explosive, I guess. I think I grabbed everything. Shoot him. That's right, I can spin as fast as you can. No problem, Tim Kara. Oh, I gotta. You know, let's use one. No! Oh, God! Oh. Sorry, Jill. Did not mean to get you. Turn in the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 